What's up mga kwentuhan? So, nandito na naman tayo ngayon sa isang episode ng ating uh, video related to fitness and health. Alright? So, ngayon ang pag-uusapan natin, ang pagkakwentuhan natin ay tungkol sa hydroponics. Ano nga ba ang hydroponics? What are the different types of hydroponics? And how, what are the things that you need for you to be able to set up one kind of system? Okay? So, ayan. Ayan ang hydroponic system. So, ayan. Nakikita nyo? So, ayan mga kwentuhan. So, ayan siya. No? So, nakikita nyo. Mga lettuce yan. Alright, so pag-usapan natin yan. So, watch out. Intro muna tayo mga kwentuhan. So, welcome back mga kwentuhan. So, if this is your first time in my channel, so please uh, make sure to hit the, the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget the bell as well so that you get to be notified for all my videos that I upload weekly related to fitness and health and financial education also. Okay, so usapang uh, hydroponics, uh, type of hydroponics and what are the things that you need to have for you to be able to set up one system. So yan ang pagkukwentuhan natin. So umpisa na natin. Halika na! Uh, ano nga ba ang hydroponics? So um, let's try to search no, gamit si Google. So sabi ni Google... Uh, according to Google and Wikipedia, so hydroponics is a type of horticulture and a subset of hydroculture, which is a method of growing plants without soil by using mineral nutrient solutions in an aqueous solvent. So, major no sobrida. <laughs> okay, so anyway, simply put, si, um, si hydroponics ay just simply lang uh, for, for the plants or yung mga halaman natin para tumubo ay ang gamit lang is water with nutrient solution. So, usually yung nutrient solution, um, ang nandyan would be all the essential uh, nutrients that the plant needs for it to grow. So, ayan lang yung hydroponics. Okay? So, basically, now that we have already a basic uh, basic definition ng hydroponics, so, pag-usapan naman natin is yung uh, ano ba yung mga types ng hydroponic system that is available uh, out there, no? And ano yung usually mga basic na ginagamit? So, technically, there are six types of uh, hydroponic system. And these six are yung tinatawag na wick system. Meron tayong tinatawag na water culture or yung deep water culture hydroponics. Meron tayong ebb and flow or yung tinatawag na drain and flow na hydroponics. Meron din tayong tinatawag na NFT system or yung nutrient film technology. Meron tayong tinatawag na drip system and lastly uh, meron tayong tinatawag na aeroponic system. So ito yung anim na uh, hydroponic system that is known currently uh, in this industry. So pag-usapan muna natin ngayon yung uh, nutrient film technique. So itong system na to is one of the most widely used um, system when, it, when we talk about hydroponics. No, dahil uh, it's very easy to set up, uh, very few things needed. Uh, you just simply have to have um, the tubing or a device wherein water will flow. Siyempre yung pots where the plants will be placed. And an air pump and a water container. So yun yun siya. So yun usually yung pinaka basic. So may kita nyo sa image, um, kita nyo ngayon uh, on how it's being set up and why it's one of the most commonly used um, system regarding hydroponics. Okay? So, ang next naman uh, na pwede nating pag-usapan is yung tinatawag na yung water culture or yung deep water culture. Um, if you are going to start um, yung hydroponics system or kind of planting, I would recommend that you start with this one because um, hindi, siya, hindi siya fancy, walang masyadong kailangan equipment. Ang kailangan nyo lang simply put is one container where you will put the solution, uh, yung mga pots where you're going to put the the plants, and then a nutrient solution. Um, you can also want to use air pump, but that's just an option because how the deep water culture works is yung parang tinatawag na cut key method is na uh, nakalubog lang yung, um, yung mga uh, pots sa container and the solution or the water will be enough to provide solution to the plants and habang tumatagal uh, nauubos yung water or nababawasan yung water 
and then yung space between the water and the roots uh, will now become the aeration sa plants para mabuhay siya. So, yun yung deep water culture. Now, we go to the third um, type of hydroponics which is yung tinatawag na wick system. So, itong wick system naman, usually, ito yung may kita nyo as mga science project dahil uh, simple lang din to, almost similar sa uh, deep water culture or water culture technique. The only difference is that yung mga pots or yung pots, yun nga, yung mga pots where the plants are situated, uh, hindi siya hanging kagaya nung sa uh, deep water culture or Kratky method. Ito, ang nagko-connect dun sa pot tsaka yung sa water reservoir or kung saan nakalagay yung nutrient solution natin, meron siyang tinatawag na wick o a particular device. It can either be a straw, a uh, towel or any form of device or medium that can hold water and um, transfer it kung nasaan yung mga pots situated or nakalagay. So, ayun yung tinatawag na wick system. Alright, so we go next to our fourth um, system which is what we call ebb and flow or yung drain and flow system. So, um, on how this is set up, um, separate yung uh, growing medium or yung device where the, the, the pots are situated. Um, tapos meron siyang water reservoir din. Ang, ang, ang setup naman ito and how it works is that yung growing medium or box or devices kung saan nakalagay yung mga halaman, basically uh, from the term itself, um, pupunoyin ng water yon until ma-reach niya yung desired level na puno siya ng tubig. And once it reaches that desired level, automatic i-drain niya yung water because of that system in place wherein meron siyang a device that will show if uh, na-reach na, na yung desired level ng ano na water. Ang advantage nitong kind of system na to is that uh, the water gets the desired moisture or water needed and then yung pag naka-drain siya na ma-maximize naman yung oxygen needed ng plants para uh, mag-grow din yung mga plants natin. So Itong system na to together with NFT and uh, yung uh, deep water culture system, they are widely used sa mga plants that are very small or few roots, yung does not require uh, too much water. Alright, so our next uh, system is what we call the drip system. So usually itong um, system na to is being used naman sa mga plants uh, that requires uh, a lot of water dahil uh, or malalaki yung mga roots. So usually mga fruit fruit bearing plants yan dito ginagamit yung system ng hydroponics na to. So every plant will have its own container um, and then meron siyang hose that has the drip uh, may drip yung dulo and each plant or container will have its own drip uh, para um, yung water will be coming from a water reservoir also and then naka-time yan on gano'ng kabilis or gano'ng kalakas yung drip na idadalin doon sa mga plants uh, container, right? So, ito yung drip system. Now, the last um, hydroponic system that's known in this industry is yung tawag na aeroponics. Now, ito naman ay uh, nakahang yung mga pots where the plants are placed and then, unlike sa water culture and sa NFT system, wherein the roots are touching the water reservoir or yung medium, ito nakahang lang yung mga roots or yung pots. Ang water is being served sa isang, through a misting system. So, kaya tinatawag siyang aeroponics. No? So, makikita nyo dyan sa image niya and how this is being uh, on how the water is being delivered doon sa ano sa sa mga plants. So itong system nito is one of the most uh, difficult um, system to set up because of it how it's designed, no? Sensya. Tapos uh, usually kaya medyo very few lang gumagawa nitong system to is because yung mga nozzles on where the water is being sent out to usually mabilis siyang nabablock or nakaklag ng mga uh, small particles 
that are available dun sa water solution. So kaya very few lang yung gumagamit itong kind of system na to. Alright mga kwentuhan, so that's it for that video. Uh, I hope you learned something from that and that's what you're looking for. And so if you did learn out from that video mga kwentuhan, please help me share this video to your friend and family para marami tayong matulungan. So if you haven't done so, please click on that uh, thumbs up and share this video. Okay, don't forget to subscribe also. See you again in our next video mga kwentuhan. Bye-bye!